Starscream Kills presents in a Geeky Guy production. So now how to play a game. There's a number of ways. One is you can ask for a table, is what they call it, yourself. You set in what you're going to do. It has to be constructed. This is new player format. Choices here is you got free play with the current theme decks that they let you to try this out, see we want to do it. Planeswalker, I'm not really sure what that is. Again, I think it's maybe theme decks, back to even Time Spiral and Ice Age. Standard as what I do. And then one-on-one, -on -one, single game win. Um, can do best two out of three. I mean, there's a number of options. 30-minute um, timer for each side like a uh, chest tamer, then you browse for whatever deck you have, comments. You can um, only allow buddies, allow watchers, not allow watchers, starting handicaps, all kinds of stuff. Now we're going to do, instead of one-on-one, -on -one, solitaire. And so, so I can show you how the game functions. This is a nice way to do chest your deck out. So, okay, so we go ahead and I look at this. Yep, I like all that, so um, go ahead and you go through the turns and you got to push OK. Like I said, this is the beauty of this is it teaches you discipline in obeying the rules of magic and how they're supposed to unfold. So what looks like a good first turn, you click, click a swamp. Now basically the best thing I think is to click on the card and then here it tells you you got to pay. So OK, I pay a swamp. Out comes the last raider. I'm happy with that. Begin combat. And that's it. So now I'm going to take a point of life. Uh, so it's technically, since I'm playing solitaire, I'm going to kill myself. Um, then uh, go ahead in the main phase. So, Prana Marsh. Sure. And I just hurt myself for one point. So that's neat. Um, then uh, what can I like do? Nothing really. I can oh, duress and pay. You. Now I gotta kick a card. So there's the beast. Um, they gain combat. I guess I'm gonna fight me. And I'm not gonna block myself. So I guess I'm just gonna beat myself up. And the point is you can check to see how your deck speed, how is your land coming out, play your lands. So you know it won't let me play another land. Uh, I can't cheat. So then I go ahead and kick, do this one. So see, now it tells me two black, one any. So black, black, black. Out comes the Vampire Nighthawk, which could be interesting because now I could be in a forever game. Combats, declare attackers. Won't do it this time. I guess I should have. Okay, so kick out another swamp. Now kick out the Lord. So this is the, the up. It does the automatically does the card up for you. So then you click on it and it'll kick it down there. You can always click on it again and it'll bring it back up for you. It does that with exile cards and everything as well. It shows you your discard, your graveyard. You can look at it at any time. So it's dress, uh, feast of blood. Starts stops at all the points you need for instance. So this should be interesting. Um, should net out. Actually, I just need to have him attack, and then it'll be all right. Uh, okay, now I'm going to stop taking Lacerator damage. So you play your Swamp. Play the Lord. As you can see, this is a really quick deck. And it comes out pretty fast, powerful. Uh, I guess I have a... Swamp face up, so see that's all, that's why these guys are not as powerful. Note that. Interesting. Um, so begin combat. Okay. 
I'll just have my Nighthawk attack me to end that out. And now it doesn't do any... Oh, it did do something. Okay. Interesting. So, in my main, kick it out. This should be interesting. So... Now notice when you click on it, you can just cast it or class it with a kicker. So I'll do the kicker. So I'm going to just target myself. And this should be interesting. One, two, three, four... All that, plus tap a vampire. And that knitted out. So I'm going to lose to the Lacerator. Oh, see, now I got the Gruel Daz. So now look at this. 6-4, six, 6-5, six, six, Pretty powerful stuff. So, um... Kitty is in. So you basically see how this goes. So I'm going to go ahead and kill myself off. Um, oh. Actually, I'll do it really nasty next turn. And it must be a black card. Yep, the Mekar Blood Witch. Okay. Negative 20. That was pretty vicious. As you can see, this is a very quick deck. Now I'm going to show you a couple actual live games. The names of my decks, Rise of the Vampires, Death Minions, is those names because I bought those intro decks and then I worked them out. You can save your deck's name uh, under whatever you want. You can call it the Oblivion Ring deck or the Enchantment deck or my Juned Aggro or whatever. Literally, my Juned Aggro if you wanted to. Anything that you would like and simply you go from that. So. We'll show you, I'll show you some very truncated, edited versions of some games. And so you get an idea of what they look like live, facing off another opponent. So, this is a good hand, so I'm going to try to play this. So let's see what they do. Oops, Swamp. Oh, the rest. They want to look at my crap, and they're going to be... They'll be able to kick the one or two, one or two cards. Let's see which one they want. So they're taking a long time, but you get a basic idea of what's happened. And they got rid of the blood tributes. You know, see, this is a relatively quick game, a uh, quick, and, um, boom, pay, out it comes. I'll be able to stick out a second lacerator on turn two. I mean, it's just, this is just a very fast deck, and that's the bit of it. So, they're going to have to really struggle to go with it. That, of the card, they could have taken... At this point, that's the card I would want them to take. The Feast of Blood is nice. So, oh, they're waiting for me. Oops. This game has been over that quick in turn five. I reduced him down to nine health. He killed a couple of my vampires, but he kind of got landlocked. This is a really fast deck. So let's draw, see the next card would have been. Silent Blood. Yeah, I was sitting pretty good, but I was land hurt. 